Helm Trail for Canyon to our Congress. Thank you for coming. We will speak about the Satavo revision using trabecular metal elements for the Broski type 3A and 3B. First of all, I'd like to thank the organized committee for the opportunity. Uh, that's our team, our sponsors. Hip surgery revisions have become increasingly <laughs> present in our practice, and the complexity of this procedure becomes a major challenge even for more experienced surgeons. We have several options to deal with these effects, and among them we have the trabecular metal augments. The purpose of this study is to evaluate the fixation of trabecular metal augments in patients undergoing hip revisions with large bone defects to, stability, to achieve uh, uh, mechanical stability. We used the classification proposal by Broski, and our point of interest was the patients with 3A and 3B. Uh, our sample consists of 25 patients, 27 hips. They were retrospectively evaluated on September 10 to December 15. Three patients and four hips were excluded. The mean age of patients was 56.8 years. We used the posterior approach in all patients, and our clinical evaluation we used the, the MERL criteria. For our radiographs evaluation, we used the, the criteria described by Moore, uh, and uh, also the angle variation or uh, displacement over six millimeters. Uh, for our results, the time since the last procedure was 10.568 years. The mean number of previous surgeries was 1.3. Our distribution called Paproski, 18 cases Paproski A and, a, and 9 cases Paproski B. And the average follow up time was 39.7 months. We had improvement uh, for our Marley criteria to 6.67 to 14.86. Uh, pre op, our center of rotation had an average of 38 millimeters. And uh, after surgery, only two patients had uh, 20 millimeters uh, over than 20 millimeters. 23 patients had three or more uh, fix criteria, criteria uh, fixation described by Moore, and we had no angle variation on component placement. That's our distribution according to augment types. And we had no migration or loosening of the implants when bone graft was used associated with trabecular metal augments in six cases, and in two cases we use a bone bank. We had two complications, one acute deep infection and one dislocation, and until now we had 100% survivorship. We have several papers in the, in the publisher we are recording uh, to uh, giving good results with the use of these devices in this kind of uh, revisions. Case number one. Uh, it's a woman, a woman uh, 53 years old, uh, she was restricted to bed, uh, so we, that's a pure uh, dirty surgery, surgery with the reconstruction with the, the augments. We use uh, the autologous graft from the Laker's posterior crest, and that's the, the first one is uh, with the three years and two years post-op, and now six years and five years post-op. And now she is uh, walking without assistance, which is very important for us for clinical evaluation. Uh, case number two is a patient with 35 years, uh, severe rheumatoid arthritis, uh, in a chronic use of corticosteroids. That's a peer up uh, defect and the reconstruction using a full tantalum cup and a buttress. That's uh, the first with two years. We use uh, the bank bone graft and the uh, autologous graft and now with four years follow-up. Follow up. Case number three, we can see a severe uh, elevation of center of rotation. That's the during surgery, we can see the, the defect and the reconstruction with two years. And now five years and six years post up. That's the reconstruction, the, the, the reconstruction. In the case number four, another uh, elevation of the center of rotation uh, during surgery, the reconstruction with uh, uh, trabecular augments. That's two, two years post op. This one is the last case, it's a very interesting case. It's a patient with 52 years old, uh, First of all, uh, uh, at first it's uh, 
uh, uh, uh, revision without major difficulties. But after cup removal, that's what we have. We had. We plan with uh, DC. We use uh, the uh, uh, bond bank graft from tibia to reconstruct the posterior column, a full tantal a cup, and a buttress. Uh, that's the final uh, reconstruction. And now, two years post op. Uh, limitation of the study is a retrospective study. Patients, patients were evaluated only with plain and rex rays. We adjust to use Merle as a clinical criteria. Our follow up is short. But despite of this, we believe that is that's a viable op option in the management of the severe acceptable defects. Thank you very much. Very good things come from Brazil, and those were some really tough cases. Well done. May I just ask one question? Is looking at some of those um, X-rays, we would tend to be looking at uh, 3D printed or triflange prosthesis. I mean, clearly you've done it with augments, but, but th are those cases that you may consider using different technology, using um, 3D printed or triflange technology? No, no, just. Uh, uh we evaluate uh, at, at a surgery and the reconstruction to get uh, mechanical stability. So they were very extreme no cases. Ideas. Very extreme. So good luck. It's not over yet, by the way. <laughs> That's okay. Thank you very much. And so you never use cages? Yes, we have the uh, we have uh, five cases with Bush Schneider and uh, but in, in Brazil it's very difficult to have uh, uh, access to bond bank. Uh, we have a bureaucracy and the lack of information of the population and the, the consequence of this that we have a, a, a large demand and a little uh, uh, supply for that. And uh, the, the two first cases that I, that I showed, uh, the patients were waiting for revision for five years because they, they need a bond bank graft. So uh, that's the way uh, we, we, we found two to, to, to help these people uh, without depending on the, the, the system. This, the the graphs that you showed were from the bone bank? So only only two cases, the case two, the helmetal arthritis, and the, the last case, uh, this was a TBL bone bank. Because I've seen some research of the graph. The, the, second, the second case, yes, but uh, there is a partial research and I use the uh, bone bank and uh, autologous graft from uh, Lagos. But uh, uh, despite of this, uh, we didn't see any uh, displacement or angle variation of this patient until now. He came with me in this uh, uh, the February, and he is clinical well and walking. But we were still looking for that. Good news is we've got a bone bank and we've got lots of it, so we'll talk after and we can ship out some bone to Brazil and maybe we get some coffee in return. <laughs> yes. We need to wrap. Thank you. We need to wrap. Thank this you very up. much. Because thank you.